What's up guys, Ali Nadam here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about layering. So layering I've been using for a long time, for ages, ever since I think Electro Champion and earlier. And I've been using it in songs like Arena. Anytime I have a sound or a lead or something where I want to not have to copy and paste the piano roll over and over again. Maybe I have a lead and I wanna create some ambience. Maybe I want like, I have a lead in the center and I want something to surround it. Layers can be very powerful. And here I'm gonna show you how to very simply add a layer. The layer exists in your uh, channels. So when you go to add a new channel, just select layer from the drop down, or just search layer. And when you drop down your layer, you'll see that there's a variety of options here. But the important one is the layering here, set children, show children. So the children are the basically the individual components, what makes up the layer. So instead of doing something like this and copying it over to this, it's just a, it's another sound. What we can do is take one of them. So we don't need to copy and paste it again and again. Instead, just have your piano roll going on in your layer and then tell the layer who the children are. So the children, so all you gotta do is right click on these parts here, high and low, because these are the ones we wanna designate, and then go ahead and hit set children. Now, when you play back your layer, You see there now we have both instances going on. You guys can layer like tens and tens. I don't think there is a limit to the layers. So you guys can get creative with this. You guys can layer a whole bunch of instruments. It doesn't have to be the same. You could do like massive and nexus and omnisphere, whatever it is you're using. And this is gonna save you a lot of space and it's gonna create a lot of uh, depth to your sounds. Especially if you're in a scenario where you can't, you know, get to, creating a specific sound within one instrument, then definitely slap on another instrument, mess around with it, tweak some knobs, and get the layer involved. If you hit show children, show children will highlight to you which um, rappers, which instruments are part of the layer. And at that point you can say, hey, I don't want this. You know, I just want this one. And vice versa, you can change those around. So. I basically just play around with that, the set children, show children, and um, again, I've been using it for a long time and it's very handy and very useful. So if you guys want to send your MIDI input, your piano roll input to multiple instruments, then you're gonna wanna take advantage of the layer window. Another cool thing is if you hit clone on layer, what this does is it actually clones whatever is designated to it. So let's show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and set both of these as children. And you can see if I clone, right click clone, we get both of them again. So this is gonna give you a lot of possibilities because if you are making some lead, you're making a baseline, and maybe you're not so happy with it, you wanna experiment, you wanna A, B it, then you could clone it, and you're cloning now the whole, all the VSTs that you've designated to the layer. One last thing I wanna talk about is saving the layer state. So if you guys are really happy with your base patch, your lead patch, I still recommend saving your patches within the instrument itself, be it Silent One or Massive. But this is also handy too. In the layer window at the top left, give that a left click and there's this save layer state. When you do that, at that point you can say, hey, um, high plus low lead, the nice thing is that way when you're browsing in your Explorer in Windows, you can then just double click it and it will then open that for you and just pop it up in FL Studio without having to add your individual patches and then add the layer. So I still recommend saving your patches, but this will kind of speed up the process if there's a go-to layer you have that you wanna bring into the project. So guys, I hope you like this video about layers. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, share it with somebody you know. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you are subscribed. Keep making them gains. I'll see you guys again.